I wouldn't say. You know, every week, every week, you know, we've been saying it's a one-week season. It's 12 one-week seasons, and uh, this this week is just another one of those. Um, so this this game is the most important game on our schedule. That's what we said last week. So we're trying to have that same mindset that we had all last week, and you know, I thought we prepared really well. So let's just do that again. Do you care at all about your redshirt status, or if they say, "Well, we want you to play the rest of the season," are you, are you good with that? Um, yeah, that, that's definitely a consideration. Things that we've Coach and Coach Klein and I have talked about. Um, <laughs> there's Cade back there getting a picture. Uh, uh, but <laughs> uh, you know, that's something that you know we still need to kind of talk about, and um, something we're we're still kind of deciding on. Um, but you know, obviously, this the the mission is the mission. Focusing on on winning and and going as far as we can this year. Well, when, you, when you think of Texas, what comes to mind? Length. Athleticism, talent—they're a really good team, and you know we've already seen it in in the film that we've watched so far, and um, it's going to be a, a, a good challenge. Um, but you know I'm ready for them, and we're ready for them, and um, we know that you know it, it's every week in the Big 12 is is going to be a heck of a challenge, and you know this one's no different. How much confidence would you say you're playing with right now? I'd say a lot. You know, I, I the things that I've been through here have kind of you know harden my head a little bit and you know you kind of you kind of learn to block out all the all the other nonsense and and kind of just do your job and and the things that the things that I've been through have kind of helped me play with a little more confidence play a little freer um, and I feel like I'm doing that and in the things that I keep saying is that you know the reason why I'm playing with so much confidence is because of the guys around me you know I'm I barely got touched you know the O-line played a really really good ball game I, I don't know if you guys you know, I, I watched the film and I went back and I was like, man, it, we were really worried about their DNs. Um, they had some really, really talented DNs. And KT and Duffy, they played a really good ball game. Gilly was running 17 miles an hour on Cade's touchdown. And Hadley was <laughs> Hadley was throwing people out of the club. Like, it was it was really fun. And, and they, those guys have been playing really good football. Receivers all were making some really good plays for for me and making my job easy. So, you know, when, when you got everybody around you playing, playing good and defense pitch a shutout, like, I mean, it's it's a blessing to be in my position in that, and you, you can't help but play with confidence. When you watch self scouting film, K State offensively, yeah. What do you focus on more, your errors or your solid plays? I've always been my own biggest critic, so I'm always focusing more on the errors. You know, those are the, those are the plays that you remember the most. I feel like you know, I talk to talk to a lot of the guys, and then everybody's kind of the same way. You know, everybody's their own biggest critic. You know, you don't want to go back and watch the highlights and just feel good about yourself. You want to go back and look at the things that, oh, I could have could have done this better. You know, I missed a, a curl throw to Cade or I missed a, you know, maybe could have thrown Malik on a, on a post for a touchdown. And those are the things that you, you remember and that kind of, you know, even with a really good game, there's a lot of things that we could have done better. You talked about tuning out the outside stuff, but is it a little bit more fun to be tuning it out now after a couple of games like this than, than maybe? Yeah, you know, that, that's the that's the struggle too. You know, you got to you got to tune it out when it's bad and you got to tune it out when it's good you know the you focus on the mission and and you know focus on the guys in the locker room and and uh you can't you can't let you know bad things get to your head you can't let good things get to your head you know no matter what you got to we you know coach true always says stay neutral um you know no matter what mission is a mission so with that though do you feel like you were counted out a little bit by a lot of people that maybe thought if Adrian can't go the the offense was in trouble and you kind of proved some people wrong on on Saturday I mean yeah definitely you know you, you, as much as you try to block it out, you still kind of hear it, and it's still kind of in the back of your head. And that, that's definitely one of my motivators is kind of proving people wrong. And uh, you know, I feel like you know we've made some good strides in doing that. I've made some good strides in doing that, but still a lot of more, a lot more work to do. How hard is it mentally to kind of challenge? Uh, how hard of a mental challenge is it to not really know on a given week if you're going to be starting, but you got to be ready if you're yeah. going to go, but you got to be ready to accept it if you're not. It's yeah, no, it's difficult. It, it can be difficult, but you know. With a guy like Adrian and with guys in the locker room like we have, uh, it, they make it easy, you know. And and no matter what, you know, we knew that that whoever goes is is gonna is gonna bring the team a lot of confidence, and the guys are gonna rally behind us because just because of the relationships in that locker room, everybody knows that um, you know everybody knows the uh, the work that we put in, and and we trust that work. And uh, um, you know, it, it can be tough at times to not know, but the thing is. You're, you like to say no matter what, you're, you're preparing the same way, preparing like you're playing every game. So 
that's kind of the mindset I've tried to have. Well, can you talk about the importance of being able to step into the pocket and step into a huddle and just have conviction and everything that you're doing with the teammates? Yeah, no, it, it's confidence is everything. Like I like I've always said, and and the more confidence you can have um, when you're in that pocket, the the better. And uh, you know when you got guys around you making plays like I do, uh, it makes it easy for me. And and the more experience that you have, you know. You can't you can't get any better experience than, than being in there, you know, and getting those live reps. And it's kind of it's hard in the moment when you're an 18 year old kid and you're out there and, and you don't really know what's going on and and some things aren't going as well as you, you would like. And people are telling you this is going to pay off, but you don't really get it in the moment. You know, now I'm finally starting to kind of see like, OK, that that paid off. And, and those hard times of struggles, um, you know, as as much as they suck while you're in the moment, um, you know, when, when it kind of comes full circle and you, and you get another opportunity, um, it's pretty cool and, and it helped, it, it's helped me a lot. And, and everybody that was on the team in 2020 was better because of that, you know, because of some of the struggles that we had during that year. How much progress do you see from this offensive line? They've, they've been playing some really, really good football. You know, I, like I said, I knew that they played really well after the game, but man, I, w I went back and watched the film and um, they, they shut down a really good defensive front. Our, def our, our defensive line, you know, both sides of the ball, they just we controlled the line of scrimmage in that game, and and uh, you know we got a big challenge ahead of us in Texas. But I have all the confidence in the world in those guys, and no matter who's the quarterback, no matter who's back there running the ball, you know we have all the confidence in the world in those guys, and and a lot of that comes from our relationships. You know, we we I'm I feel like this is the tightest offensive line, and and you know tightest offense that we've had in a while, and everybody's just getting along really well, and there's some true genuine love there, and you know we. They're playing really good football, and uh, and I appreciate them more than they know. This is something I've been meaning to ask for a while now, but why why'd you switch numbers this season? Uh, Eighteen was was the number I used in high school, and uh, it was always it was always uh, kind of a special number to me. And you know, I felt like I kind of went through some, you know, I, I kind of when I got here, I didn't really, I wasn't sure about fifteen. I liked it, um, but you know, I kind of wanted to get that mojo back. You know, I know it's kind of a it's kind of it probably doesn't matter or anything, but you know the the number opened up and the opportunity came, and I was like, you know what, I might jump on it, kind of get a get a fresh, you know, almost a fresh start, kind of back to, you know, where I was in high school and feeling confident, and you know, that, all that stuff really doesn't matter at the end of the day. But you know, 15 or 18 is was my number, um, and you know, it's day the date of my mom's birthday. You know, I loved Peyton Manning growing up. It was it, so it was kind of special to me and. Uh, I'm glad I got the opportunity to get back into it.